Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi here, the Crypto Pie, and today we're going to be talking about my flag list, right guys? Um, everything that I have in my, um, is it still called flag list? Actually, it's called red list now, but um, everything that I'm basically looking at, right? Um, there's quite a few coins in there, guys. So, um, and I'm actually going to add one right now, which is Store J, because it started doing stuff today, right? So I'm adding that one, boom, it's in my list. So we'll start at the top. This is Bitcoin. Well, we're just only going to look at the daily, guys. We're going to see if anything is, is interesting, right? Well, obviously, Bitcoin is still not doing much. For Bitcoin, I'm making an exception. Quickly look at the one hour. Um, basically, it pumped to like 6343, something like that, 6345 or so. And then um, right now, it's consolidating. I think it will get back up to the 64s. And, uh, you know, after that, who knows, right? Because this is obviously just consolidation right now. So let's put it on the daily and just quickly go through my red list. All right. So ADX. All right. So ADX I got on my red list. Why? It's very simple. Because it's in an uptrend, right? It's in an uptrend. And it nearly shows you that it's in an uptrend as well when these, uh, the 21 EMA, etc., is going to cross the 100 EMA, the, the red line there. Right, so then we have Raven coin. I'm watching this one because of a retrace, right? I, I have alerts on this one set, etc. So um, yeah, this one's very easy. You just take your fib. For, oh, actually, I have my uh, drawing tools. See, here it is. All right, I had them hidden. So here's your 618. Here's a buy zone. So just patiently waiting every day um, for it to go there or if it falls even lower at 786 and you know you expect to bounce after that right so let me just hide them again then we got AST um, AST is also you know kind of in an uptrend so it, it's further away from the 100 for sure as ADX but still it's also in an uptrend so it's one watching as well uh, then we have WPR which is weak power and this one's actually very far into its uptrend guys right so if you can see the 21 already crossed the 100 here which is a huge sign right um, that that's the daily chart guys so it's a longer term time frame because that's what you, fr frankly that's what you need to look at right now um, because of the simple fact that we've had such a long downturn right for like for a year we've been downtrending so uh, you for for a lot of coins you need to look at the bigger picture and of course you can do little swing trades in there but guess what if your daily is in an uptrend then you, you're much safer doing swings than when your daily is in a downturn and you try to get a quick swing out of it right so this one's soon in I mean I'd say this one is in an uptrend right the 21 crossed the 100 guys right so that's that's big you know that's a biggie there right um, let me See, there's my little uh, trend line there. I can obviously just uh, this for the that was the hourly based on hourly, right? But you can just extend this all the way like that, right? And uh, you, you can see that you, you, your trend line works pretty well here, right? So um, when it gets down here again, guess what? What do you want to do when it gets down here, guys? You want to buy, right? So uh, then we have dock. Um, the same thing applies here, guys. Right, this one's really new, but you can see like it's trying to uptrend here. So, uh, yeah, I'm also looking on this one for you know this time bounce from 786. If you take your fib from this swing low, it's a 618 as well. If you take it from here, it's well. Then we still have to wait a little bit, right? The 618 is right here. So, um, this is definitely your zone you're looking at. Right, and you got PHX, a red pulse, Phoenix. Um, well, you know, it's also, it was downtrending and now it's it made a higher high. Um, so it's very interesting to watch, right? If Even if you take it from this all the way low, um, there you go, right? So it's bouncing on the 8 EMA here, the green one. So yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good as well. IOTX, same thing. Um, let me just hide this, right? It's definitely in an uptrend now, guys. All right, so the... the uh, 21 is about to cross the 100 EMA. What do you think will happen, right? What do you think will happen if this 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 crosses? Well, you you bet, you bet, guys. A lot of people will be watching that, and uh, I expect at least a little bit of a pump, right? So on the one hour, 
you know, t to be safe, you just want to be selling like in this area somewhere, right? Always expect a lower high, even though um, it could very well make a higher high as well, because on the daily, this looks like nothing yet, right? So that's why I always keep some, right? So moving on, DNT, District OX, same thing here. It wants to cross. Well, what do you think will happen if this actually crosses? Well, you, you can expect a big, you know, swing up. So um, right now, of course, this, this looks like a rejection, but, um, you know, it will probably come down and then go up again, right? So if we just do like this and we can draw a simple trend line, right? Very, very, very simple. Where do you want to be buying? Somewhere around this area, right? So that is what you're looking at, okay? Um, take swing low as well, swing high. Right, and you see if there's any confluence. Well, you you, you see your six one eight right here. So, um, yeah, that's definitely where you want to be buying, right? And we got storm, um, storm as well. So, let me just hide this, right? Storm also crossed, um, not yet the hundred, but it's also trying to uptrend here, right? So, where do you want to be buying? Well, guys, here's your trend line, and uh, basically it confluences with um, I mean it depends when we get there right it will most likely uh, confluence with the 618 when we get there right so like this and then probably around here right so yeah when it gets to the trend line you, you want to be buying at least a little bit right uh, metal guys remember metal right we're still consolidating here but guys it's not gonna consolidate forever I can tell you that much all right so um yeah it's uh you know it's getting very tight and uh my targets are still up here right so um well that's where you want to be buying right you want to be buying in this consolidation and looking for these crazy targets why i told told you guys about metal before because these targets are absolutely insane all right um so yeah uh iron as well i got in here and this is one um you know it, it crossed quite some time ago so i'm looking at you know just patiently waiting for it to get back to this 8065 at the 618 perhaps even 786 so uh just patiently waiting on this one as well uh red coin i got here for a potential double bottom um you know still patiently waiting on this one uh self key you know you can buy this on the trend line right just you got your trend line here you can obviously extend it um, you want to buy it when it gets to the trend line right uh, let's see also what what fib that will be we take it from swing low right um, probably around 618 right so that is what what I'm looking at store J all right this one I just added guys because look at this right also getting into an uptrend so well wh where do you want to be buying well I, I think this one's still going Right, I'm not going to look at the hourly right now, but I think this one will still go like one, two, three, four, and then we still have a five somewhere, right? So uh, obviously you miss this. If you miss this, like this entry, either in you know this red candle down here or in this one, then don't get in it, right? Because after that the pump happened. It's that simple, right? So if you miss it, you missed it. Simple, right? Boom, you you could have bought in this six one eight region, and uh, you know you would have been in the pump. You would have sold earlier than this top because you don't assume a higher high, but yet you would have, you know, taken like 20, 25 percent. So, um, you know, that's kind of how I'm looking at it, guys. All right. And we're not going to assume higher highs. Of course not. But um, definitely when things are in uptrend, guys, it's just better. OK, so and these are all getting into an uptrend. OK, so that's why I wanted to, you know, tell you guys about it. Also, guys, I have a Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash pygos. You can join up as well and become a patron. I have two patrons right now. They can PM me on both Telegram and Discord and just, you know, ask for their benefits that come with their tiers, such as the five charts or the one-on-one -on -one call if you got the golden pie. Uh, if you have, if just at the bronze pie, you just have the, the Patreon videos, which are not up yet. I'll make some Patreon videos soon, guys when I have some more patrons. I mean, just for two patrons, I don't think it's um, that valuable to have some videos yet, but um, they will certainly be coming, all right, guys? So yeah, look forward to that. Also, guys, 
join up with the crypto Pies blog where you can ask me any questions ask other people questions and it's just a great chat box to be in right let's see what's going on here so we have a chart from penman um this is definitely interesting as well so fan so this one's not uptrending yet but it's definitely falling wedge right so you expect an uh, a bounce there yeah 100 percent um then we indeed this this is big news guys all right so tether is backed apparently by this bank um and the bank has more money than than tether has out there so that is means it's solvent and that's big news all right guys that's huge news so everyone who fell for the whole tether fud um guys don't fall for fud all right just don't um like i said guys um i remember what, what i said with the tether video right basically what i told you guys is tether and money and anything um related to that is all based on trust right and this just shows you that the bank has trust because the, it, it's backed right so if it's backed well there you go right but even if it's backed and if there wouldn't be trust well guess what you would still go down right so it, it's that simple all right guys um so yeah um that's the whole like i i guess uh thought behind money and um just coins and uh stocks anything right it's all based on trust guys because it's all about buying and selling right so that is that uh let's see if we got any charts here we got go chain obviously this is downtrend now so yeah you don't want to be in there you want to wait for a retrace healthy retrace at least 618 um let's see anything else not really so yeah uh, join up with that also join up with the crypto Pies feed where i post all my videos post for upcoming icos when i find the ico i'll tell you guys about it to whitelist for it so you are ready for the sale but at the moment don't expect any icos from me because both ethereum and neo are still very low priced and that means your ico needs to do very well right but what i do look for in icos a strong team i look for low token metrics such as so a low mark cap so it's easy to flip and we can make some money there and of course i look for infrastructure projects such as blockchains and protocols because they simply outperform all the other categories out there right also guys follow me on twitter which is twitter.com slash pygos and follow me on twitch which is twitch.tv slash pygos both telegrams will be in the description below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe hit that post notification button and if you've got any questions at all leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video